We're married to the great actor and playwright, Tracy Letts. It's true. Almost 10 years. I mean, I, I've got to tell you, you may be my favorite power couple, I have to say. <laughs> At least you, you know who we are. That's yeah, so oh, my gosh. You had and an unconventional wedding? Indeed, yes. We were, we were married in the hospital. So it was covered by WGA Insurance. <laughs> um, I, I came home on a Friday shooting Gone Girl, and we had one more day on our registration. And if you don't get married, you have to go re-register. Paid the sixty dollars again. Is I'm that very true? cheap. Yes, it's true in Illinois. Yes. I did not and know. so I said we have to get married tomorrow, and he said yes, 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 of course. Well, it was one in the morning, and he was sweating profusely, and he was in so much pain. And that's that Saturday morning, our wedding day. He had his gallbladder removed, oh, and no. then by Sunday the registration was null and void. <laughs> And I said, is there a chaplain in the house? So this woman, Pam, popped her head in. I was on the phone with my mom, and she said, hello, I'm Pam, I'm a Lutheran. And so um, I said, mom, I'm getting married, I have to go. And I was wearing my husband's T-shirt, and I did bring our rings, and then he was, you know, high as a kite. And, we, Please. and my family said, you had, you had to drug him to get him Best to marry you? Best unconventional wedding ever. Please yeah. tell me that you have written this into a play that we will see adapted. No, I just tell it on morning shows. No, but you should absolutely <laughs> write this. It's pretty good. It's, you it's, know, it's really life and death good. stuff. It's a good story. You're yeah. workshopping it right now. That's right. That's right. Well, it played well with the crowd here. Yes.